Hello my friends and welcome to this new practical activity on this time support vector regression. So I have to start by telling you that the model we're about to implement will be slightly more advanced than the models we built before, but it's totally fine. We will do it together and we will succeed 100%. So why is it slightly more advanced? Well, that's because we will have to play a lot with feature scaling and I can tell you that after this implementation of the SVR model, you will be a master in feature scaling because you will know not only how to apply the feature scaling transformation, but also how to apply the inverse transformation, you know, to go back to the original scaling. So you will know all the sub tools, let's say, of feature scaling and you will handle them like a pro. All right. So if you're ready, let's start. And just before we go inside the folder, let's make sure here that we're all on the same page. I gave you the link to this folder, you know, containing all the codes and data sets right before this tutorial and an article. So make sure to connect to it. And now we should all be on the same page. And therefore we're going to go, of course, to part two regression. And then of course, to support vector regression SVR. All right. And as usual, we're going to start with Python. So we're going to go to that Python folder inside which you will find the same data set as before, because you know, I would like to compare the performance of different regression models on this data set, which prove to have some nonlinear relationships, you know, between the feature, which is the level, you know, the position level going from one to 10 and the salary going from 45,000 to $1 million per year. So here again, this is exactly the same scenario. We want to train this time a support vector regression model to learn and understand the correlations between these position levels and these salaries. And to quickly remind the context, we are hiring a new person who is expecting a 160K salary justifying this by the fact that this person earned a 160K salary in the previous company. This data is exactly the data of the previous company, you know, with the different position levels from business analyst to CEO and their corresponding salary. And so not only we want to train a model to learn these relationships, but also we want to deploy this model to predict the salary that this person had in this previous company, knowing that indeed this person was a region manager for a couple of years and therefore is considered to have a position level of 6.5. So that's the exact same scenario, exact same data set. And so now let's build the support vector regression model on this data set to see if it performs better than the previous model, which showed great results, the polynomial regression model. All right, so let's do this. Let's close this and let's open our support vector regression implementation, either with Google Collaboratory, if you love it, or with Jupyter Notebook, because indeed, it is an IPYNB file. All right, so that's the whole implementation. Let me quickly show you the structure of the implementation. We're going to start by importing the libraries as usual, then importing the data set, then applying feature scaling. So this is interesting. This time we have to apply feature scaling because in the SVR model, there is not this, you know, explicit equation of the dependent variable with respect to the features. And mostly they are not those, you know, coefficients multiplying each of the features and therefore not compensating with lower values for the features taking high values. No, this time the support vector regression model has an implicit equation of, you know, the dependent variable with respect to the features. So we don't have such coefficients and we will definitely have to apply feature scaling for this model. So you see, you start to understand when and when not to apply feature scaling. Well, you know, we don't have to apply feature scaling for linear regression models where you have indeed those coefficients that can compensate with the high values of the features. And so, of course, these include simple linear regression, multiple linear regression and polynomial regression. And you will see later on in the course, many other models and for other models, which usually have an implicit equation, you know, an implicit relationship between the dependent variable Y and the features X. Well, usually for these models, we have to apply feature scaling. All right. Then we will, of course, train the SBR model on the whole data set. You know, this time it's the same. We won't split the whole data set into a training set and a test set because we want to leverage the maximum data to 
learn these correlations between those position levels and the salaries. So we won't do that split and we will directly train the SVR model on the whole data set. Then after this training, well, we'll have a smart SVR model, which therefore we're going to use to predict this new result and exactly that salary of this position level of 6.5. And we will compare, of course, that prediction with the prediction of the polynomial regression model, which I've kept here. And then, of course, we will visualize the SVR result in low resolution and high resolution to see, of course, the regression curve of the SVR model. All right, I'm sure you noticed that I did not click on each of these contents. Well, I did that on purpose. It's because I don't want to reveal the prediction, you know, the predicted salary by the SVR model. I want us to save the surprise until, you know, we execute that cell to return that predicted salary.